Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today we're going to be comparing the on input and the on change events in JavaScript. Okay, so the difference between these two event types is actually relatively straightforward and you're most likely going to need to compare these two types when working with a standard input field with a type of text such as this one right up here. So we're going to be using this input field to test uh, these two event types. Okay, so going inside the text editor right here, we can say I've simply just got the HTML, we've got this input with a type of text and an ID right here. Then of course I'm just uh, getting a reference to that input field in the JavaScript by using the get element by ID method. Okay, so dropping down here, let's add the input event to this input field. We're going to say my input field dot add event listener, then add the input event just like this. Okay, so of course, this function inside here is going to run whenever the input event is fired off. So, what does it mean or what triggers the input event to fire off? Well, it's basically whenever the user enters a character inside your input field. So, we can say, for example, console.log, and I can just say input just like that. Okay, so if I save this, go back in the browser, and I've got my F12 uh, dev tools open right on this side. So if I was to now enter a single character inside this input field, for example, if I say D, we can see we get the input event fired off right there. If I was to go back and then say C, we now get two of those console messages. If I say ODE, we now get five. Okay, so that is your input event right there. It's basically going to fire off whenever the value of your input field has been changed. Okay, now this is also going to work for backspaces. For example, if I backspace, it's also going to fire off. And of course, if I was to backspace the entire thing, it's also going to fire off. Okay, so that is your input event type right there. Let's compare this to the change event. Going back inside the text editor, let's now make this a change event. Then of course, just make the console message uh, change. Save this, go back in the browser, and this time, if I was to enter in a D, just like that, we can see we do not get that console message. Okay, so with this change event, basically it's going to fire off whenever the user is essentially done with your input field. Okay, so if I was to click away, we get change right there. So we've taken focus away from the input field and that event has been fired off. Although, if I was to uh, not change anything, then click away, we don't get the event firing off a second time because of course the value did not change. If I was to change the value, then if I just tab away, we get the change event fired off. So that is your comparison there between your input and your change event. The input is going to fire off straight away as soon as the value changes, but the change event is going to fire off whenever the user has changed a value and they've also clicked away from the input field. Also keep in mind that the change event is probably going to be uh, the most common uh, you know, type to be used, especially when it comes to file input fields as well, but that's a whole different story. So that is all for today's video, guys. If it helped you out, drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.